Okay, let's start part two, chapter four, free and X program. The introduction number one, introduction of NX and pre NX. The NX and pre NX is a terminal server and remote access solution. This one. based on the enterprise crest open source technologies by no motion so if you visit this website no machine.com you can download this kind of packages and the uh, nx and free nx session the silence and the resource management developed on top of the x window system so normally this one as well support x window and this one as well, the integration has an integration of powerful resource sharing capabilities, printing and the audio of the Linux and Unix world. And the NX Empress as well, the make it possible to run any graphical application across any network connection. So even if you stayed in the, the other or different network address, no problem to use the graphical application based on Linux and Unix. Number two, testing environment. For the NX server, the host name same, servertel.com and IP address 8.5. And if for the server system, we need to install two packages, NX and pre-NX. For the NX client, the, there are two operating systems. First on Linux, the host name clientchart.com and the IP address 86. And the, for the client system, we have to install OpenNX package. And the uh, Windows 7, this is uh, also the NX client. And this one now using the DHCP. And uh, on Windows 7, we have to install this program, NX client 3.5.0. Hyphen nine. So if we visit this website, you can download this package. Okay, first one, chapter five, NX server. So first, in the NX server, we have to install two packages, NX and pre NX. And after that, please checking LVM QA graph NX like this. And after that, we have to configure one file. This is NX server's main configuration file. So open this one and please find this line. Enable password database authentication. So normally the NX server using SSH, but even if this one use the SSH, normally the NX has their own the password database. So we have to activate this line using number one. And the big creating users. So here we need to create users who want to use NX server. So in the server side, using this one, NX server, add the user TLAN, and after that password, TLAN like this. So after we create this uh, user, we have to check this directory home tland.ssh so here you will find the ssh keys and after that the chk config pre and x server we have to register to the each run label and after that start the this nx server pre and x server start like this and number two ssh server configurations i already told you normally the nx server can be implemented based on SSH. So in the SSH, we have to configure two lines. This is the main configuration file of SSH. So here we have to activate public key authentication, yes. And authorized key file will be that as it is, is the directory name of each user. And of that authorized keys too. So default is just authorized on the key, keys, but we have to add number two because the NX, when NX server create the password, normally the keep the key here and the key name is like this. So we have to match these two keys.
And after that, the service SSHD restart. Testing NS on NSC client. Number one, NS client on Linux. On the Linux system, we have to install this one open NX. And after that, if we want to use this one, please click application and open as client and connection widget. I think that the other configuration is not so difficult to see what to configure, but uh, when you configure this part, please focus on the key import from NX server. And then let's try to use open NX. In number two, NX client on Windows 7 first, download this program and its client from this website and after that install also this one is similar to open nx so start the configuration also this one need the key import and after that try to log in to nx server from nx client okay then the, let's go back here so this is a uh, okay this one the server system so at first let's check the package nx pre nx ah sorry this one okay first nx Okay, here NX and pre NX as well. The other things like this. So if you don't have, just install like this. You install pre NX and NX like this. Okay, in my case, I already installed, so I got this kind of messages. Okay, and after that, uh, let's go to etc NX server. So, oh, sorry, etc. NX server. Okay, so here we can find that this kind of things. First, let's try to open node conf. Here, okay, let's open two part. First one, uh, line number 56, so SSHD port will be 22, and line number 21, enable password database authentication enabled. Okay, and then we are ready to use uh, NX server. And after that, we have to create the user, so in my case, NX server add uh, user tlen so user tlen in my case user tlen already in database so nx server add user i uh, will use itc and after that nx uh, server password itc so ITC one two three four. Okay. So now in my case, I'm using the three users as an NX server client user. So okay, let's check like this. Uh, home ITC dot SSH. So here I can find authorized key two and in my case uh, tland that SSH as well and one more user linux slash that SSH so all this kind of users using this kind of key okay then config pre nx server on and uh, let's check pre nx so now number two, three, four, five is registered. And after that, the service pre NX server, in my case, restart. Okay, and after that, uh, in my case, uh, VNC server will be stopped. 
Okay, now I'm ready, ready to use the pre-NX. And after that, SSH service. Okay, here first, line number the 48, public key authentication, yes. And authorized keys file here, authorized keys the two. Okay, and after that, the service SSHT restart as well. Okay, now I'm ready to use the NX server. Now let's go to the client. Okay, client here. Okay, first check the package. So here, open NX. Okay, in my case, I already open NX. And after that, if you click the application, so you have open NX client and open NX connection wizard. Okay, so let's click the next. So in my case, this one, NX uh, server 2 and the host 192.168.85 and port number 22 and in my case I will use RAN and uh, this one is uh, the, the UNIX system and the uh, desktop will be the GNOME and the uh, resolution I will use this one okay next and the enable SSL as well next and here show advanced configuration dialog okay finish so if you click this one the server ip port number and the desktop lan is the same so here the most important thing is this one key so key at first time we cannot find anything so here please click import so in my case i already copy this uh, client key this client key in the server part, so here, if you install NX and free NX, so here you can find this key. So this is a client key must be shared to all client who want to access to this server. So in my case, already copy this file. Okay, then the click this file and open. So this save. So now I apply and okay. Okay, now I'm uh, successful to configure this one. Then the let you try to access. So in my case, there are two sessions, client NS and NS2. So now try to use the user TLAN. So, okay, here I create this one. So username ITC and ITC1234. Okay, now I'm uh, successful to login the NX server using NX client. So the, in my case, so okay, here let's click the terminal. So here I can see ID. So now ITC. Okay, I'm uh, successful to login to NX server from client system. So if we want to exit, just log out, then log out. Okay. Then the, let's go to the, uh, windows. Okay. Now I install this one NS client for windows as well. So this one is the same to configure to the Linux open NX. So in my case, I use uh, this one so Linux password and the session so if we want to see the configuration here just the configure so normally same so host port number 22 and the desktop GNOME RAN and the display like this and the key in my case I already info to this one from uh, I got cop uh, copy this file from the Linux. So you, here, please try to the select this one import. Okay. So in my case here, Linux one two three four. Okay. Try to log in. Okay. So now I brought this desktop X server from the NX server to 
the windows. So even if I stay in the windows anytime, I can use the Linux system. So here, user ID, then here, Linux or terminal. Okay, so here, ID, so Linux. So if we want to exit just here, select the system here, just click log out Linux. Okay, log out. Okay, then go back the Linux system. Okay, so far I explained how to set up the Linux terminal service using the Tiger VNC and Open NX and NX and the client as a client the Open NX like this. Okay, in this video, in the I the create two video to explain uh, Linux terminal service. So here I hope that you will remember what is the Linux terminal service and how to set up Tiger VNC server and client and how to set up pre NX NX on client and also how to set up open NX on the Linux and NX client on Windows. Okay, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next video. God bless you.